Hey, my YouTube family, how are you? I wanted to stop by and tell you that I am so appreciative of you, your support, your love for my channel, for the videos I've been posting all these years. Some of you have been here on this journey with me for a few months and some of you just for a few weeks or days and I truly appreciate you. Today, it's May 1st, 2024. I am super grateful and so thankful that you are here with me on this journey that we call life. It's exactly 4.46 p.m. Yes, and it's 68 degrees here in New York City, the Big Apple. I wanted to introduce you to someone, Nia. She's me when I was 15. I used to be this slim, this slender. <laughs> Over the years after four children and being 50 years old, now I'm about 140 pounds. I gained a few pounds, yes. I was 135 during um, Ramadan. And before that, I was so happy and so grateful. I finally reached my ideal weight after suffering over 25 plus years of fluctuation, up and down, up and down, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, and not being able to get rid of those thick legs that God gave me since I was 19. But now I just uh, learned to appreciate them and I finally loving my body of a middle-aged woman <laughs> that looked like she's 24, 25. Today I got a compliment from a young lady. She said she thought I was 24. I told her, no, I'm going to be 51. Well, I'm 50 right now since uh, January, a few months ago. Yes, God has been amazing. I got an amazing gift from my 21-year-old. She sent me via Zelle to $100 this morning. That was a nice surprise. And then my 22 year old that I went to visit, I'm just getting the towel. My 22 year old, I went to visit her at her dorm, NYU. And she said, Mommy, would you like some breakfast? So she brought me some breakfast. I had a little bit, and now I just warm it at the microwave to finish. It's a bagel with uh, turkey, sausage, eggs, and cheese. I'm lactose intolerant, but I so crave cheese and dairy. Today I say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be strong and do it. So this is me, Nia. When I used to play tennis in South of France, I was exactly this slender and this slim 15 year old, yes, young teenager. And my father wanted me to become a, a tennis player, professional. And I did play for four years. And I really enjoyed it as my favorite sport. I love tennis. Tennis, then ping pong, and then swimming. Those are the three major sports that I love and I so enjoy doing. I did a lot of competitions when I was in South of France. I used to run the tracks. I used to do all these amazing cool sports like rugby, football, like football, the real football that we call uh, football in French, but it's soccer here. I played handball, volleyball, I did even the sword, uh, what else did I do? I did so many, so many sports. I've been really, really blessed and fortunate in South of France. I had amazing parents that made sure that I went to school and I participated in a lot of sports, a lot of events, excursions, school fields. And I'm so, so appreciative and thankful for what my mom did, raising me to be this badass, strong woman, African queen. <laughs> and I'm here just to remind you on YouTube that you can do this. If I did it, you can do it too. If Nia did it, you can do it too. Just stay encouraged and motivated. You know, when you watch my videos, it's all about inspiring you, empowering you, and just motivating you so you can get up Make your bed first thing in the morning, smile, look in the mirror and tell yourself how amazing you are, what a beautiful, strong, resilient, powerful woman you are and you have become. And there's always room for improvement, but please pat yourself in the back, <laughs> on the shoulder and remind yourself that you did it. You overcame, you conquered your fears and the, the trauma that you might have suffered from, experienced when you were younger, maybe just a few years ago, but look at you now, look at you today. So remember that. 
I'm going to eat my bagel and just wanted to stop by and remind you that you can do it whatever you are going through whatever hardships and struggles just keep going and you know God loves you because he is letting you go through trials and tribulations and so many quote unquote bad thing but it's all actually blessings in disguise it's just about mindset shift you have to change the way you think and see things how you perceive things happening in your life they are all happening for you okay not to you so nia and i saying bye until next time stay blessed stay inspired stay educated and be unbreakable Bye. Au revoir. That's Vidania. That's bye in Russian.